everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is jasmine i go by pin up couture with two e's at the end it's day three of vlogmas and as i mentioned in my video yesterday i'm gonna be showing you guys what i got from the thrift store today i decided i'm gonna try each item on and then I'm also going to style each piece for you. That's why we're in my closet. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool just to style the pieces and show you like the full outfit, like how I will wear it. Because I know I talk about like, oh, I will pair this with a skirt. I will put my hand in a bun. I will put black boots on. But I'm actually going to put the whole outfit together. So hopefully, you know, each piece I'll be able to, you know, find some things. So like I said yesterday, I went to two thrift stores. I went to Bargain Hunters and Value Village. Value Village, their prices were a little bit higher than Bargain Hunters. Bargain Hunters had really good prices. Like everything was no more than three, four dollars. Value Village now, that one, I found some stuff. It was like $18, $20. I'm like, I hate spending more than $10 on an item at the thrift store. Because I'm like, this is used. This was somebody's stuff. And especially if it doesn't have the tag on it, it's like, why are you trying to upsell it so much when other thrift stores they doing it for like five six dollars but anywho so the first item i got i'm actually not gonna try it on because it's a sweater and i'm gonna wear it during vlogmas so i saw it and i was like oh this is so cute and it's just this mickey mouse sweater and i was like oh my gosh this is gonna be perfect i'm gonna wear this one of these days on camera during my vlogmas i said this is perfect um it's from the disney store too yeah well yeah so it's from the disney store um it is in a size small and i this was only about four dollars yeah no actually this was three i think it was 350. so it's in really good condition there's no stains there's no um you know little snags on it nothing so yeah you guys will definitely be seeing me wearing this <gasps> during vlogmas so the next thing i found was this too long fu t-shirt and when i saw it i was like oh i have to get it because this is a classic you guys if you don't know what too long fu is i need you to google the movie and watch it this is a classic movie oh my goodness it just was this the 80s or the 90s well i'm a 90s baby so i watched it in the 90s but maybe the 80s movie um yeah i'm not gonna style this one either because it's just a t-shirt but i'm just gonna tell you i would wear this with like some mom jeans or even like some baggy sweatpants and then a pair of jordans or something just you know a pair of ones just to give you that casual yet cute i i can't wait to wear this too it's just who gave this away and this was only a dollar you cannot go wrong this was only one dollar people all right so the next item i found at the thrift store was this top which i showed you uh, a glimpse of it in my thrifting video yesterday um it's definitely old school um it's probably from i would say like the 80s the top is a little bit big it is a size 16 so i decided to pair it with this high waist skirt um this little high waist pleated black skirt i think it will look better with a leather skirt because i think the shiny material um would bring out the outfit more this is a little bit dull so i think like i said the shininess of the the leather would i think make the outfit pop a little bit more which i don't know i thought i had a leather skirt clearly i gotta get a leather skirt that's on my list. Um, then I just paired it with some knee-high boots. Um, I probably wouldn't go bare leg, just depending on how the weather would be. It does have shoulder pads, but they're not too, um, they're not as thick as, you know, some of those pads where it's like, doom, 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 doom. they're not that bad. So I do like this. I like this. So I would definitely wear it just like this, just as is, except for I would get a leather skirt. Definitely would get a leather skirt. Okay, so next I found this little dress, which I absolutely love. Like, this is so me. I only paid, I think, like $3.50 for this. So let me style this one real quick because I cannot wait to wear this dress. I think this is so adorable. So I will wear it with this little bag, this little white bag, which I also got this thrift thing. Um, it's just a little white bag. It doesn't, I don't think it says where it's... Um... It just says New York, Toronto, so it's not like a design or anything. It's not a brand. I would probably put a solid color heel on with this. So I do have some white pumps up there. I don't feel like getting. I would either do white, but I think that might be too much white. I don't want to make it look like, oh, it's just too much. Or I could do like nude. I can do black. So if I do black, I would switch my bag though. I would do black. 
this gives me um what's the show gossip girl spot it jasmine wearing her vintage bag and her vintage dress walking down the hallway wearing white after labor day i, I sure am i would wear my white after labor day with this outfit i sure will but yeah this definitely just gives me like just like i said preppy school girl i definitely love the buttons on this dress um i think it fits really well i love the buttons on this dress definitely am loving this outfit i can't wait to wear this one but the next item i got was this denim dress and this is what the front looks like it has a zipper that comes all the way down and then it has a split right in the center which i thought that was really really cute at first i thought this was the back and i was like oh that's gonna be cute though on the back but then i tried it on i was like oh no this is the front I love it even more this was only two dollars and fifty cents this is going to look so cute in the summertime i cannot wait to wear anything denim i instantly gravitate towards i just want to know who gave you away this is so cute oh my goodness hope you guys can see the whole thing this yes yes it fits really nice i love this this dress i would pair with uh my ysl bag which it's here. I have a little denim YSL bag I got for my birthday, so I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Oh, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Look at her. Look at her. She is beautiful. I love her. I love her. Ignore my sports bra because it's still on. But yeah, I would pair this with this just like this. I would do um, gold accessories too. So this dress gives me casual yet still sexy like it's still like a statement piece and then i think with this ysl bag um it can be um it's not as dressy like as some of the other ones with like just the black ysl like you know this one is more again like just casual because it is denim so yeah i would do this just like this i would probably pair this with like a red lip and some white sneakers or if i wanted to dress it up then i would do black heels gold accessories because my bag has gold in it um i would do my long ponytail or i would do a bun honestly i probably would do a bun because the way the neckline is but the long ponytail looks fine with it too but yeah i cannot wait to wear this in the summertime Ooh, summer 21 21 21 Hope, cross fingers you guys we get a summer hopefully corona wraps it up where i can have a good summer hopefully 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 so if i wanted to dress this up though but if i didn't want to do sneakers i would pair it with these shoes just because these it would bring out um that dark color that's in here like that dark denim so that would make the outfit pop out a little bit more and then i probably wouldn't do a red lip with that i probably would either do a neutral something neutral or i could do dark i can go dark with this though too like a dark um a dark purple dark plum but yeah i could do white with this too <gasps> i definitely would do white with this i definitely could you definitely could wear white with denim denim and white looks really good together too so the next thing i found was this cream sweater dress i think it's a dress but then again it might be a shirt yeah i might i think it's too short to be a dress but this is what it looks like so i'm gonna actually pair this with this jacket that i got as well you guys look how pretty this jacket is it's from forever 21 um Look at it. Look at the details. The I thought it was just so adorable. When I seen it, as soon as my eyes, we locked eyes, I'm like, I have to have you. And I just ran. I grabbed, I threw it in my cart. Um, this was about, this was the most expensive item I think I got today. This was about 20 and some change maybe. Yeah, I think it was about $20 for this. Look at the jacket, you guys. I think this jacket is so beautiful. Like this... This jacket was a steal. Like, ugh, I cannot wait to wear this. So, yeah, I just paired this top with um, these white pants, which I never wore. They're like a, they're not really white. They're like a beige cream color. So, I would do like a winter white, an off-white outfit this whole, I would wear this, this whole entire ensemble. So, I probably would do my little uh, clutch with this. And then as far as shoes, I would do like a nude pair of shoes. And then I also have these. These, I think I like these a little bit better. I probably will wear with these. Or I forgot I have my booty. You know what? I think I'm feeling the booty a little bit more. Yeah. I would do the booty with this. I think these two look really well together. I'm so glad I found them at the same time. So, yeah, I can't wait to wear this. Definitely will be wearing this as an outfit. I love this jacket. Look at my jacket. I'm fancy. Oh my gosh. 
much. How you do? Yes. I love this jacket. So since I showed you the white jacket, look, I found a black jacket. Look at this jacket. This was a steal. When I saw this, this is another one where I'm like, I see you. You see me. I'm coming to get you. Creep away. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I had to have her. I paid um, $18.50 for this jacket. I decided to pair this jacket with a turtleneck. So I will wear it with all black underneath. I think all black and then like a loud jacket, which is not really loud, but like a bright jacket looks so good together. Especially this one, the black and white. I think it's going to look really good. I would do a little black bag. This one, which I got also got from the thrift store. Remember this one? I love this bag now. I would do it with a little black bag. Now, as far as my shoes, black. So... I could do my black knee highs, I have booties, I have heels, um, I have my combat boots too, which I love these things. I probably would do the combat boots. I'm kind of feeling the combat boots with this. I think that would look really cute. Yeah. So, the jacket is a little bit big, but it's bigger. It's not my size, so of course I knew that was going to happen, but it's a coat, so I'm not, I'm not really like upset or I'm not, it doesn't really bother me. This was another steal too. When I saw this jacket, I said, oh, I'm getting it. I don't care how much it is. I'm getting this jacket. Since I already had on black, I'm going to show you the next outfit with it. Um, so it's this tweed blazer. Look how adorable she is. Oh my goodness. I also would wear this just like this, just as an outfit, black on black. Um, I probably would do a red lip to bring out more color. Um, gold accessories or even silver accessories is fine. Um, the low ponytail looks fine with it. I personally probably do a bun because I love my buns. Um, and yeah, so it is an extra small. It's from the limited and I only paid $3 for this. And you guys, you know, I love my tweed material. I had to have this and for three bucks, I'm like, I wasn't about to pass this up and it's in really good condition. I don't see any stains, nothing on it. So this is adorable. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm like, Seriously, I'm always amazed at what I find at the thrift store because I'm just like, why did you give this away? This is such a nice piece. Um, it's suede. It's like a blush pink too. If this was clothes, I would definitely like wear this as a dress. Um, but I would wear this kind of just as is. I would do a white tank underneath. Do some maybe a lighter pair of jeans or maybe like a light blue, like a light light denim pair of jeans and i would do nude definitely i would do like that nude pink that new like again like that blush pink heels with this i think this is so pretty you can also pair this with like a sweater underneath but then again maybe not so uh, see i would have to really play around with this piece um because i feel like i can do so much with it because it's so it's just really a nice piece of clothing i'm really surprised whoever gave this up i just love how it feels and the color is so nice there's so many ways you can style this it's so many options so yeah i think this is really nice though so i found another tweed blazer and this one is calvin klein it's a size four ooh, ooh. so um this one i think how much was this i think this was maybe maybe four dollars for this yeah i want to say it was no more than four okay so this blazer i would sell just with a white tank so if my sports bra was longer if it was a tank top um i would do it with jeans too probably i like the black with it i do like the black jeans with it or i can i would go lighter just a little bit lighter maybe like a maybe like this color this color if i was doing a black jeans i probably would do black shoes so i would either do a solid closed toe shoe or I have um, like the ones with the single strap, you know what I'm talking about? Like the single toe, like the single strap shoe, like these. So something like that. I would style it with gold accessories because this has um, little shimmers of gold. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it definitely has little, um, the threading has a little bit of gold in it. So I definitely would do gold accessories, a nice little watch dainty bracelet i probably would do my i like the ponytail with this or i would do straight hair or a bun i don't know <laughs> i think blazers are your signature piece so it's really you kind of don't want to do too much in here because your blazer is what's going to stand out that's your main um focus point so i wouldn't do you know red underneath here blue pants and then pink shoes just because my blaze is already kind of loud I'm not saying it's bright but it's my like i said it's my signature piece so i would definitely keep it kind of simple from um the rest of my items 
the rest of my outfit i should say and the last item is this oversized um chocolate blazer so it does have two buttons in the front two gold buttons in the front which i think makes it look a little bit more uh dressier just the way these buttons like the details of these buttons it looks uh, a little bit more dressier so this blazer was only about 350 yes about 350 for this blazer all right so i paired the blazer I just did chocolate on chocolate. That was my first thing I thought of. Just do chocolate on chocolate. That looks so nice together. So I think brown on top of brown always looks good. Um, so I paired it with just um, chocolate jeans. These chocolate skinny jeans that I got from H&M. And then I put on these brown compact boots. Oh, can you see that? Ah. So it's just like literally all chocolate down. So I would pair it with a white tank top underneath. I'm keeping the sports bra on because again, like I said, I don't feel like changing into a whole tank top. I like how it looks open. I think clothes gives it a more um, dressed up feel to it. The butt, cause just because of the buttons on it, I think this, if it was longer, I would definitely wear this as like a blazer dress. Um, but I think this is still really, really cute open. So I kind of I like it open. I like it better opened as well. Um, I would wear it with this, my Burberry um, bucket bag. The bucket bag gives me um, more casual, though. Now, if I wanted to dress it up and put heels on, I could do, like, nude. I can do black. Um, it's just, the blazers, I feel like blazers you could do so many things with. So, it's really just a matter of just playing around and just knowing what looks good for you and what you feel comfortable in. So, I was about to wrap up my whole video, and I forgot I got this bomber jacket as well. So, I found this bomber jacket at the thrift store, too. I think this jacket was maybe about $13 or $12, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, so that's the second bomber jacket I found at the thrift store. Remember last week I found my, is it in here? This one. The Army Fatigue was the first one, and now I found this one. So I'm like, yes, I need, and I literally said I needed a black bomber. And this is in such good condition. So yes, I thought this was a steal. I cannot wait to wear this bombers you can literally dress so many ways but instantly i just think sweatpants like i just love how sweatpants and bombers look together it just gives me airport running to cookout i don't really care but i still look fly like i just threw my bomber jacket on because i'm i'm that chick that's what bomber jackets give me like you could just just instantly throw a bomber jacket on and now you you just you just cool. All right, you guys, so that is it for day three of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know which look was your favorite, too. This is, like, my happy place, seriously. Like, I love just putting outfits together, trying different things on, coming up with so many different looks. This is what I absolutely love to do so i'm so kind of i'm kind of glad that you guys enjoyed the thrift video the first one i did because i really was hesitant about posting it because i wasn't sure how people would react to it like oh she wears thrifted clothes or why would she do that why you can't buy regular clothes and it's not even about that you can't buy regular clothes it's just i like that the thrill of it finding unique pieces that i know no one's gonna have or if they do it's so old you know I, so I just like that that aspect of going through so I'm just excited for you guys to get us you know sneak peek into my life this is the first time I'm actually like vlogging with you guys and you guys can see like what I do on a daily basis you're seeing my closet this is just gonna see like just bits and pieces of who I am who Jasmine is so I'm so excited I'm thankful for you guys for continue to follow and support and it just means so much. You understand? It means so much to me. So as always, I will see you guys tomorrow with day four of Vlogmas. See you guys.